Hello, Cancer viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was getting that the synchronicities and the dreams are getting stronger than ever. Like, they're not able to deny the connection any longer because your guides and their guides are coming together um, behind the scenes in the higher realms to try to make this happen finally. And it's like they're seeing your name everywhere or people are bringing up your name in conversation. Um, I'm getting that your name comes up a lot. And you might be showing up in their dreams as well. Like there's really a lot going on behind the scenes. You know, might, maybe not a lot going on physically, but, you know, everything always manifests in the higher realms astrally before it manifests physically. So anyway, let's see what's going on. It's cancer. What's going on? Sadness. Divine intervention, synchronicity, vulnerability, receptivity. Apology, regret. Okay. So the divine is trying to get your person to apologize for something. Okay, sorry. I did not realize that was so out of whack there. Okay. <laughs> Um, you the divine. I feel like your guides are, you know, we have divine intervention, synchronicity again. I feel like they're trying to get your person to apologize for something that has to do with anger and miscommunication. Like this could be ghosting. This could be an argument you guys had. Maybe they were grumpy and they lashed out at you. They said some things they didn't mean just some type of miscommunication or some type of anger. I feel like, and I want to say too, that this could be a different person than the person that I was channeling um, a couple weeks ago because I was getting that the synchronicities and the dreams are stronger than ever. There's, you know, something about this connection that, that you just can't deny or that they can't deny any longer. But I just want to say, like, you know, if you're a Cancer and you're following my, you know, you're in that energy group and you're following my collective readings, you know, the past few months or so, it, it could this could be a different person, you know? It, it could be another one of your exes. So that might be a different ex that I channeled a couple of weeks ago. And this might be another ex that I'm feeling now that's in your energy field. Because that does happen sometimes. It's not always the same person that I'll channel for you guys. Um, because some of you have multiple potential partners. Some of you might even have multiple potential life partners. Like two or three different ones. So this is the one that's strongest in your energy field right now. But that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the same person I channeled a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I mean, and you would be in that energy group, you know what I mean? Like if you're a Cancer and you're following me the past few months and these stories are resonating for you, then, you know, I would say these are your stories. I'm just saying that the person I channeled a couple of weeks ago might be um, a different ex that you have. And this might be... Um, like a new person or another, well, I guess it wouldn't be probably wouldn't be a new person with the argument here, but this could be a different ex than the, the ex that I channeled for you guys um, a couple weeks ago, but it's the same energy group of cancers, you know, these are all for you, but, um, but yeah, I feel like your person, whoever this person was, I feel like they were kind of throwing themselves a pity party, like maybe like, oh, I messed up, I snapped or I ghosted them or I, I did this, I did that, they'll never forgive me, um, I'm just, I'm just garbage, I don't deserve love. I mean, just like a victim mentality. Like they were sad over you, but they were like sabotaging themselves. It's like, hey, dum dum. Like all you got to do is like all I have to do is message you, you know, and they don't get it. It's like they were just feeling sorry for themselves and going on this downward spiral thinking, you know, just thinking like, oh, I don't know how to they don't know how to message you. They don't know how to apologize. They don't know what to say. Like so they just were throwing themselves a pity party and sabotaging this. This could be someone that like walked out on you, like maybe, like maybe they got overwhelmed with the commitment or something and they walked out or they left or they ran or they cheated or they just did something and now they're just like isolating themselves out of pride and they feel a lot of pain. But it's like they're sabotaging themselves because like all they have to do is message and apologize and say, hey, I want to come back home and you're good. But instead, they're just, you know, thinking about all the things they did wrong and, oh, I bet they'll never forgive me and no one's ever going to love me. I'm worthless, blah, blah, blah. And the divine is trying to get them to get out of that eight of swords victim mentality and transmute that energy of pain into vulnerability and romance and receptivity and love, you know, like because they're going to be emotional. They're in a, an emotional state right now, a very sensitive state right now. 
but um, the divine is trying to get them tr to transmute this sadness and the pain and stop feeling sorry for themselves and transmute it into vulnerability, into openness, into um, like a fresh start. Like, okay, wow, I really messed up. Like, I need to make things better. Like, like a learning experience for both of you where they come back around and they're like, oh my gosh, I never want to do that again. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but now they want to come crawling back to you. So the divine is trying to transmute this into a learning experience so that they can finally move forward because they need to send you an apology regarding something they did. And they're wanting to apologize. Like they know, they're not in denial about this. Like they know that they need to apologize for whatever this is. And this could be someone from, I don't know if this is recent or years ago, you know, because like I said, it's the same energy group of cancers, but this might be someone that you haven't even talked to in a long time that's just kind of thinking like, oh, wow, that person was like the love of my life and I messed that up. I'm a different person now, but I don't know like if they would, it's been a long time. Like, I don't know if they would accept an apology. Maybe they don't even care because it's been so many months or years, you know, like maybe they wouldn't even believe that I could ever change, you know, even if it's been a long time, they just might have their doubts. But um, what are they wanting to do towards you in the next few weeks? Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Manipulation, deception. Hmm. Tell me about the manipulation card. Power struggle, chaser, chasee. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Confusion and uncertainty. It's so infuriating because... Because this person knows how bad they messed up. Like, they know they messed up bad. <laughs> like, they, I don't know what they did, but they, whatever happened with you guys, like, they know they messed up. And they're feeling a lot of pain. But I almost feel like, it's so stupid because it's so, like, it's so frustrating. Like, I, I you guys must be frustrated because I can feel that energy where it's like, they're, like, upset. Like, they're really genuinely, like, upset about this. Sorry, I had to balance my phone. They're really upset about this. And, like, they know that they need to apologize. Like, they know that you did not do anything wrong. Or maybe, like, you did, but it was mostly them. Like, maybe you got in an argument. You might have said some things you didn't mean, but it was mostly them. They said some really harsh things. Or, you know, that kind of scenario where it's, it's like, maybe you both need to apologize to each other, but they're the ones that really need to apologize. Like, they're the, they messed up worse than you did, if you did mess up at all. And, like, they know that. They understand that, but... I don't know if it's like pride or what it is. It's like they're wanting to come in really fast, but they're like, they keep throwing themselves a pity party and thinking like, oh, this person would like never want me, you know, like this person would never forgive me. And again, this could be someone from years ago. This might be someone that's just kind of having these like epiphanies that you're the person for them. And they're like, oh my gosh, like, but I messed up, you know, like, I don't know if it's too late. It's been a long time. They probably haven't even given me a second thought. Like they don't know what to say. So that pride might mess them up a little bit because they're wanting to come in fast. But they're wanting to come in in like a manipulative and deceptive way. And um, like, in a, you know, this power struggle is connected to the manipulation and deception. Chaser, chasey power struggle. Like. Almost like. They know that they did wrong, but they almost want to message you and be like, you know what? You shouldn't have said this because they're wanting to talk to you. So like maybe you guys got in an argument or again, there's multiple scenarios here. I feel like there's a couple different like it's all the same energy group, but there's like a two or three different stories here. Like for some of you, it was like an argument and they know they messed up, but their pride isn't letting them admit that they messed up. So it's like they want to message, but they want to blame you when they message. They want to be like, well... You know, you shouldn't have said that. Like, they're just tired of you guys not talking. So they're about to break and message, but their pride won't let them apologize to you. So they're wanting to message you and be like, like, wow, like, almost like pout. Like, whoa, you're not going to say anything or you're going to come get your clothes or um, like, like maybe they'll like make something up, like some excuse to talk to you or something. Or they're going to like put some stuff on you like, um, like you know, blaming you for the argument or something, even though they know very well it's not your fault. For some of you, it was like someone that ghosted you or just wasn't good to you or was emotionally unavailable, but it was like maybe a long time ago. Um, 
Or it could have also been someone that just, like, left you recently. Like, maybe there wasn't a fight. Maybe they just, like, ran or left you, and now they're like, oh, crap. Like, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. What do I do? <laughs> um, and it's like, say say they, say that you guys haven't talked. And for those of you that haven't talked to this person in months or years, it's like they're wanting to talk, but they're... It's like they're going to keep the ball in their court. They're going to make it a power struggle. They're going to not chase you too much. They're going to try to get you to chase them. They're going to try to manipulate and deceive and like use their words in a certain way to try to get the put the ball in their court so that you chase them. You know what I mean? It's it's stupid. It's so stupid. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know about this energy. But it's like they're wanting to come forward quickly. They're wanting to come forward and be courageous and assertive. I think they're just really confused. Like the pride thing is an issue for them because they need to open up and be vulnerable, but they're not sure how you're going to react to them being like this assertive and forward and, and courageous and coming forward all at once. And so they're kind of like prepared to to blame you for things that they know you didn't do. It's almost like a gaslighting kind of energy where they're like prepared to, um, like they just want to talk to you. I feel like they just want to talk to you and they want to break the silence and they're they're so frustrated with and they're so upset with you guys not talking that it's almost like making them mad. Like, and you might not even be ignoring them. You guys just might not be talking right now. Like maybe they maybe they left and you you're just not chasing them like that you they thought you were going to chase them. You know, you're not blowing up their phone and they expected you to. And it's almost like they're like annoyed that they don't have you anymore like they used to. Um so I get kind of like an energy with this person. I don't get like this is like a great catch or anything. I don't know. You might want to pass this up. I mean, I don't feel like they're like a bad bad person, but I feel like I feel like they play the victim because, I mean, I was getting that kind of Eight of Swords energy with the first couple cards I pulled where they were sad and then the Divine is trying to pull them out of it and transmute that energy into them being vulnerable and open. It's like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling sad when you're the one that did this to yourself. Like, why are they doing that, you know? Like, it's almost like they left and now they're, like, crying and thinking, like, oh, my gosh, like, they'll never want me back. Like, I... I... I don't deserve love. Like, they're just, like, throwing themselves a pity party. And the divine is like, are you serious? Like, just put your pride aside and call and apologize. Like, it's almost like they're throwing... This could be, like, a friendship, too. But it's, like, almost like they're throwing away this whole connection just over an argument or over, like, a mistake they made or something small just because they don't want to put their pride aside. Like, they could just apologize, but they don't get it because they're in this perspective, this mentality of feeling so bad for themselves that they're just, like, going on this downward spiral. And the divine is really trying to pull them out of it and um, show them, like, hey, like, all you got to do is message. All you have to do is own what you've done. All you have to do is, like, apologize and say, hey, I want to make this right. But, like, they're going in a downward spiral and making it even worse. Um... I feel like it's like they're being pushed by the divine to come towards you. And I feel like they are going to come towards you, but it might not be in a positive way. It might be more like they're getting frustrated and upset because there's so much silence and you guys have gone so long without talking that you might get a message from them where they're like, hey, are you going to come get your stuff? Or, hey, like, uh, can you pick the kids up from school on Friday? Or can you... Um, can you, you know, do you remember that like hairdresser you had months ago? Can you give me their phone number? Like just something stupid where they're going to message you for, and you're going to be like, really? That's what you want to talk to me about? But it's like, they want to talk to you so badly. They're going to make an excuse to talk to you. You know what I mean? Like they're going to come up with something like, oh, do you have that phone number that I, I, you know, I, you have that, your hairdresser's phone number or something like that, you know, like just something stupid like that, where they're like going to try to find some stupid reason to talk to you. Um, or I feel like they could message, but they could like, cause I feel like I feel anger from them. I feel frustration and anger and pain cause, and it's like anger at themselves, but they're projecting it onto you. So I almost feel like they could message you and be like, like, are you going to apologize or you know what? Or like, like, what are we going to do? Like they're, they're like, they're getting impatient. Like they're trying to wait 
but it's like you're both kind of just in this energy of like silence and I don't know what that's about I don't know if they're like maybe they're, they're wanting you to say something specific maybe that's what it is maybe you're trying to talk to them but they're not understanding and they're wanting you to say something specific and it's like it's like they're just they're doing this to themselves like they could just if they just apologize you guys could move forward but they're like it's so weird it's it's like a toxic energy though because it's like they do feel guilty but at the same time it's like why aren't they owning that why are they just feeling bad for themselves you know what i mean like some people when they feel guilt they're like okay i messed up i need to step up and i need to make this right they're doing the opposite it's like they feel guilt and they're like oh i better hide like i better not you know like i don't deserve love that's that's of course this was gonna happen you know we're just we're incompatible that's why we argued like they're not really taking responsibility so their guides are really trying to get them to to change and to mature and to step up here um if you'd like a private reading my email address is right below and I can look more in depth into the situation for you, into you know what they're feeling and thinking, what they might be wanting with you, just if they're if they might be coming back around soon. You know, readings are for entertainment purposes only, of course. But you know, whatever you want to know about this situation, just just send me an email. But let's see what else we can get here really quick. Okay, so what are they doing right now towards you? What what are they what are their plans towards you over the next uh, a few weeks or so, a couple weeks or so? Shyness, fear of rejection, mutual feelings, emotional depth. Yeah, the emotion is there. It's like they just, they're afraid of being rejected. They're afraid of, it's almost like they're going to make it a power struggle when they don't need to. This could be like a couple that's getting divorced, but this person doesn't actually want to get divorced. But they're almost going to pretend like they do just out of pride because they think that you want to get divorced. So they're going to pretend like, you know, like they're going to pretend like they want the divorce because they think you want the divorce. It's like that kind of energy. It's like the feelings are there, but they just keep overthinking and overanalyzing and self-sabotaging. It's like they're pretending like they don't want you because they think you don't want them almost. You know what I mean? So it's almost like if you guys talk, they might just be like kind of casual and kind of make a power struggle and kind of push you away, but they're actually really vulnerable and really missing you, but they're not going to let you know that, you know? Like if you guys just went through a breakup or something, it's like they might text you just out of the blue, like I said, like just something that doesn't, like irrelevant, like asking for some phone number that you have or something or or ask just something random and it's like they're they're just wanting to talk to you or they might just blame you because they're getting frustrated they might just get tired of the, you know not communicating and they might say something just to start a conversation but it's like toxic it's like they're not starting a conversation in the right way they're just getting so impatient that they're just at that point where it's like they want to move forward somehow um and if you guys stay in this power struggle it's just not gonna work because this person is really in their pride. So it's like they'll, even though they don't want to let you go, they'll pretend like they're over it and they'll pretend like they're okay with letting you go because they don't want to admit that they were wrong and that they need to win you back. So this is kind of a toxic energy. So I don't know if you want this. Um, I feel like I got a better energy from the last person. Yeah, they're just kind of stagnant, just kind of in Eight of Swords energy, just waiting and hoping and praying that it will message first. But they don't want to cave. It's like, you don't want to cave, they don't want to cave, no one wants to cave, so you guys are trapped and blocked and tied up, and, like, you have these red cords that are connecting you to each other. So you're just going in circles, and, like, no one's caving, and someone needs to cave. Even if you end this, someone needs to cave. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you can feel each other, and it's like, you're wanting to message, they're wanting to message, and it's like... If you guys want to work through this, you need to put your pride aside because this is like this person does. If this is your person and your story, like this person does still want you. They just won't admit it. 
Like, they know that they're wrong and they don't want to admit just how wrong they were. Or, like, if they did something wrong, like, cheated, like, they don't want to admit, like, they don't want to take responsibility. Whatever it was that they did, whether it's recent or, in, like, in the distant past, like, whatever happened, they're, they're not wanting to take responsibility for it. They're wanting to blame you or blame everyone around them. So their guides are trying to get them to mature and grow up and um, do right by you, but it's it's this person's kind of stubborn, so it's hard. Anything else we can get on this person? Anything else we can get from this energy? Adventure, honeymoon, romance, make your move, green light. Yeah, like they're wanting that with you, but it's like maybe there's like that fear of commitment or just that fear of getting hurt. Yeah, maybe like a codependent relationship for some of you. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. It's like that energy, that emotion, and that love is still there. They're just stubborn and prideful, and it's, oh, it's irritating. Um, yeah, that's what I feel. So I don't know. Let me see. Can we get some clarity on what they might do within the next week? Just some, come on, give me something. They're trying to choose a path. Like, there's a hidden truth that needs to come out. Maybe they messed up and they haven't told you what they've done yet. That could be for some of you. You've got hesitation. Yeah, they're all over the place. I wish I could give you a more clear answer, like, oh, they're going to message or they're not going to message. I mean, it's never for sure. You know, we can never, it's just energy. So you never know for sure if they're going to message or not message. But it's like they're isolated and they're alone and they're empty, but they're in their pride. They're being so stubborn and refusing to reach out first. And so it's like, ugh. That's like all they need to do is apologize. But the emotion is there. Like they're wanting to fight for this relationship. They're just, they don't want to take responsibility and admit they were wrong and they don't want to work on themselves. So it's kind of a toxic connection. So you might be better off letting this go. If this is your story, you might not want this anymore. But this person is in your energy field. And if you don't want this anymore, you do need to any day now you do need to cut the cords if you don't want this anymore you need to cut those cords out because you're still picking up on each other's energy and your pride and your stubbornness and your anger towards them is they're feeling it and they're amplifying it back to you you know like when you feel angry they feel the anger and then they get angry and then you get angry it's almost like you guys are like arguing in the astral realm like you guys are mad at each other and like bitter and hurt by each other in the astral realm almost so if you don't want this anymore you got to cut the cords you got to move on from it if you don't want it but things are stagnant, so you guys have to choose a path here. I wouldn't I personally wouldn't want this. I don't I don't like this person's energy. I don't think they're like horrible, but I don't get a, I, I I have high standards. I wouldn't want this energy personally. I would just wouldn't have the patience for it. They play the victim too much. They it's too much gaslighting and too much victim energy with this person. I don't like it. But, um, but if you do want this, if you feel like this is your person, you got to choose that path. You guys either have to both like put your pride aside and really open up and be vulnerable and apologize to each other and be gentle with each other and work through this, maybe get some counseling with each other. Um, or, you know, cut these cords and move on. But right now you're both stagnant. Like they're keeping you stagnant and you're keeping them stagnant. You're both just on this merry-go-round. So you need to, you guys should go one direction or another. Um, anyway, if this resonates, um, my email is below. If you'd like a private reading, I can go in depth into your situation. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal link and Cash App is below. And um, please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.